Challenge now is in the service now based of way. I created a custom application called RPA Challenge. As you can see, it has an invoice and line item, a couple of flows, a little logic in here. Now let's have a look at what we do. If I now go into my invoice table, there are a couple invoices. Let's create a new one. Uh, I have only one customer here. That's Sanjay. People that have seen the previous one might remember that. Let's say we create that invoice and add a couple of items, line items that Sanjay bought from us. Everybody knows and loves favors fast food. Let's say we have a product called a Big Mac and Sanjay really loves that. He buys five of them for like 10 bucks each. Submit that. Now we know Big Macs, they don't come on their own. We'll need some fries with that, right? So let's add some fries for five bucks. French fries. A quantity also of five of them. So submit that. You can see it's adding the total there. Which is, ah, didn't get the price. Hang on, we'll need to put in a price here for the fries. There we go. Now we get the total, we get the total summed up into the invoice, and that's already invoice. Set that to processed and save it. This will trigger a flow to create a work item into our RPA queue. So if I look into my RPA, I got an RPA bot process. Uh, let's have a quick look into queue, work queue. We got a work queue and there is our new invoice, 1008. Let's start our bot process and see what's happening. Bot process. The pro process is scheduled to start every 10 minutes, but we don't want to wait. So just hit start process on my virtual machine, which is on the left hand side here. We should see the process kicking in momentarily. There we go. Bot is starting and I have now sh sent all the data, including all the line items over to the bot for processing. Now you will see the RPA challenge website coming up again, being populated with all the information as we used to from the first bot. Just fed from ServiceNow. Here we go. All the information is now maintained here in ServiceNow. If you go to process parameters, we get some stuff like the text percentages, the URL, we have the credentials being maintained in ServiceNow. So on the bot side, there's nothing anymore that is kind of sensible or whatever. It's all maintained from ServiceNow. The invoice has been generated and now it will actually find the invoice, download a PDF file and attach that PDF back to our invoice here. If you remember, the challenge was to send the invoices via email. We don't want to send emails, we attach that to ServiceNow. It should just be there in a couple of seconds. There we go, searching for the invoice, downloading, downloading is done. And now it takes another five, 10, whatever seconds to upload the file and actually close out the login to the Bots World website, which will complete our robot execution. Not yet. There's some awkward pause while it waits for the file to be written to the disk somehow on the virtual machine. There we go. It closed it. Reload the form. And here's our invoice. So let's open the invoice. You can see it. Invoice opens up. We got the invoice. It was the Sanjay. We got the fries and the Big Mac. Now you see some strange prices here. This is because I entered it in Swiss francs and somehow it converts it to US dollars from my instance. That's something I'll need to check out with Flow Designer to make sure I get the right ones. But all the data has been transferred. If you keep your instance as Lena's single currency system, you shouldn't have any issues with that. Thanks for watching.